So I am going to do this look for you today. It is from NYX Runway Runway Collection and I have Art Model, Art Model, however you want to pronounce it. And this is how it looks. So if you want to know how I achieved this look. Let me zoom in for you. Well, here it comes. The first thing I'm going to apply on my lid as a base is a um, pencil. This is from a Swedish brand called Viva La Diva. And I'm going to apply this on the inner half of my lid and a bit up to the crease. With my eye shape it's really important to bring the shadow up because when I look forward my lid disappears so Just like that, and I'm just gonna smooth it up with my finger. Finger! <laughs> just like that, it does not have to be very neat. The second base on the outer corner is this pencil. It's also from a Swedish brand called Oriflame. And this goes on the outer part. I'm also bringing this up. Okay, so now that we have our bases, it's time to start applying the eyeshadows. These are the eyeshadows. And I am going to use this teal, this dark green, and I'm actually going to use this light pink as a an highlight and in the corner. I'm starting out in the, in the corner with the teal color, and this is very powdery, so I just press it on. I don't go all the way in. Because I'm gonna put a light pink shadow there. So, and I think the reason to this is really powdery is because it's really glittery. So, about halfway, I'm gonna blend this and adjust this later, but I think this will do for now. Now I'm gonna apply the dark green one. I start in the outer corner and I go up. And I'm starting to form the shape that I want already now. So for this look I want this to point out. Now I'm actually gonna put on the light light pink color as my highlight. And I might as well tell you that I'm using the um, the camera display as my mirror. <laughs> this way. So now it's time to make some blending. And I'm trying to blend where the colors meet, where the highlight and the colors meet. I find this kind of hard to blend. So 
so this is how it looks so far. Now I am going to go back and um, intense the colors. I'm going to use a brush from e.l.f. called Blending, Blending Eye Brush. And I'm just going to dip it in the dark green one. And press it on. So now I'm making a shape as well. Like that. Now I'm going to apply the same colors underneath. Now I am connecting the eyeshadow in the outer corner. I have wiped off my pencil brush and now I'm going to put some of the light pink in the inner tear duct. And I'm bringing the pink up to fade into the teal. I'm also going to reapply some of the pink highlight. Time for eyeliner and I'm going to make a really really thin line. You can make this just as thick as you want but because of my eye shape I want as much shadow eyeshadow to be seen as possible. So. I don't want to hide my lid in eyeliner. I'm also going to use the teal eyeliner on my waterline. I'm going to take some black eyeliner just to darken the lower lash line here. I'm also putting some black eyeliner on my upper waterline just to thicken the lashes. It's time for mascara and I'm using the one by one million lashes I think it's called Volume Express. One by one Volume Express from Maybelline. There we go. Now I have a lot of fallout so I need to clean this up and I will be right back with um, blush and lips and everything else. Okay, here you can see the whole look and I'm just going to apply uh, NYX blush in pinky. Just a tiny bit. Just to stick to the whole team, uh, I'm going 
going to apply NYX round lipstick in strawberry milk. And over there I'm going to apply some e.l.f. luscious lipstick in it's so tiny caramel candy. So there you go, this is the finished look, I really hope you like this, please take the time and subscribe and like this video and if you have any questions just write the comments below and I get back to you, so okay, thank you, bye.